Today is uh, October 20th, Wear Purple Day. It's really just a fitting date to open, ceremonially open, and, and do the ribbon cutting for the Catherine Allen Building. This building is a tremendous resource for the area, and it will provide services to victims and survivors of domestic violence. It'll also provide a safe place for children in the drop-in center that we're gonna have. It'll be open after school, and kids will be able to come here, do their homework, have a really inviting, safe, environment. In this building we're going to be able to house all of our staff and increase our preventative gun violence services for youth so it's really exciting for us. We are, have a number of programs at the Domestic Violence Center including a program that serves victims of trafficking. We have two staff attorneys and two paralegals on staff who can help clients, victims and survivors with court cases, custody, orders of protection. We also have a police advocate and a court, family court advocate. We have a housing program. We have therapy services on site. We also have a domestic violence shelter, which houses 33 people. And all, most of the referrals for that program come from the non-residential program. Having a building like this, which is brand new, beautiful, respectful, really allows victims to, and survivors to come in and feel valued like they matter and start to build those first relationships that help them seek safety ongoing. Uh, I want to thank Unity House from the bottom of our hearts for this honor, which I can't even imagine how touched my mom would be. Bye. With a background in public health and a passion for ensuring dignity in the lives of women and children, my mom's move to the capital region began a deeply entrenched relationship with Unity House for the final 32 years of her life. Among her many accolades was coordinator of the Batterer Accountability Project at Unity House, co-chair at Safe at Home, a 1994 domestic violence conference, winner of the Volunteer Leadership Award in 2015 from the Office of the County Executive for her work here in DV, and president of the Board of Directors of Unity House at the time of her passing. My mom did have a gift. Unity House's founder, Mary Jane, had the exact same one. They saw people really, really saw the human soul in each and every one of us. Their eyes glazed over no one, even those society directs us to look away from. And so my mom's writing was a skill that allowed others to do so as well, and to lay bare a tragedy that often takes place behind closed doors. And so she wrote articles and organized grants and worked closely with clients to ensure their needs were met and their stories were told. The new Catherine Allen Center with Unity House is really going to revitalize, uh, bring services directly to the residents in the city of Troy. More importantly for me though, it's going to change this neighborhood. Um, it's Unity House making an investment, additional investments in our neighborhoods that's going to impact all the surrounding uh, uh, property owners and the people that live here. Uh, bringing the service to those that directly need them. Uh, and I just couldn't be happier with the work that Unity House has been doing in our, our community for so many years uh, and the work that they're going to continue to do. It means so much to our family to be here today. The safety and dignity of women and children was a lifelong passion for our mom and seeing her name up here is such an incredible tribute to her lifetime of work and um, time with Unity House and we're so honored to be a part of the Unity House family forever.